Hi, I'm Ross Moscato. We have our places that help render us peace. For many living in this area, one of those places is Clover Valley Farm in Easton. Clover Valley Farm sits up and alongside the intersection of Pequonicut Avenue and Chestnut Street. Clover Valley Farm is an actual farm with farm animals and where horses are boarded, chickens roam freely, hay is harvested, corn is grown, and sawdust is made. It has wide and long pasture buffeted by woods and stone walls and a river that weaves through the property. The sun, when it rises and sets on its land, is the picture of a warm and hospitable globe, and it happily splashes and paints the farm with light. Clover Valley Farm is owned by the Wilbur family, longtime Yankee and Easton stock. The patriarch of the family is Charlie Wilbur, an Easton native. Charlie Wilbur died on Monday, January 18th, after a brief illness. He leaves his wife Donna of 50 years and his children, Don, Charles, and Todd, and four grandchildren and one great-grandchild. Charlie Wilbur was a farmer's farmer, literally one of a dying breed in America. He worked very hard. He was a standout and caring farmer. He was a standout and caring person. Heavy set with plump jowls and a full head of silver hair, Charlie bestrode his farm in his green farmer's work clothes. He was something like out of a Norman, Norman Rockwell painting. When I heard of Charlie's passing, I posted on Facebook in tribute to Charlie the text of radio talk show legend Paul Harvey's renowned monologue, So God Made a, F Made a Farmer, which he first delivered in 1978 at a Future Farmers of America convention. So God Made a Farmer achieved worldwide fame when, during the fourth quarter of the TV broadcast of the 2013 Super Bowl, a Dodge Ram truck commercial featured Paul Harvey's voice narrating the speech set against images of farms in rural America. The words are so much and so all about Charlie Wilbur. I am grateful to be able to share those words here with you. Here is Paul Harvey's So God Made a Farmer. And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, and then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. I need somebody with arms strong enough to rustle a calf and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to call hogs, tame cantankerous machinery, come home hungry, have to wait lunch until his wife's done feeding, visiting ladies, and tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon and mean it. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a newborn colt and watch it die. Then dry his eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can shape an ax handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, and who can make harness out of haywire feed sacks and shoe scraps and who, planting time and harvest season, will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, then paint in from track to back, put in another 72 hours, so God made a farmer. God had to have somebody willing to ride the ruts at double speed to get the hay in ahead of the rain clouds, and yet stop in midfield and race to help when he sees the first smoke from a neighbor's place, so God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales, yet gentle enough to tame lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink comb pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadowlark. It had to be somebody who plowed deep and straight and not cut corners, somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake and disc and plow and plant and tie the fleece and strain the milk and replenish the self-feeder and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says he wants to spend his life doing what he da his dad does. So God made a farmer. God speed, Charlie Wilbur and may the angels take you in their embrace. Thank you.